Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about how I sculpted these hands for my gorilla commission. In my previous video, you would have saw that I sculpted my head for it. Uh, so if you want to have a look at that, you can check out my uh, previous video or previous previous video. Um, but this one I'm going to be doing um, the hands for the gorilla. So. I'm doing these hands out of Super Sculpey this time. So the head was done with Sculpey Original, uh, but these ones, uh, the hands are done with, the hands and feet I should say, are done with Super Sculpey. Now Super Sculpey is a little bit stronger than Sculpey Original, and because these are going to be uh, smaller little sculptures, uh, I decided to go with Super Sculpey because um, it just provides that little bit more uh, structure and support um, especially when you're posing the hands as well so super sculpey is uh, a lot harder to work with than um uh, sculpey original uh, so you will need to condition the clay a little bit more uh, so these little blocks are already pre-conditioned and i've rolled out a couple of little balls that are all the same size uh, so the back feet will be the same size and the, and the and the hands will be the same size just so i have the same amount of clay that i'm working with so you saw me add on a little worm or snake bit uh, and that will become the thumb. Uh, so I do that just because I want the thumb to be a little bit lower and I want it to stick out a little bit more. So I decided to um, add that on rather than cut it out of the clay that I'm working with. So uh, the other fingers I ended up using a, um, a little blade and just cutting some uh, rough sizes of the fingers into the top of the clay. So um, once I've made a quick little rough outline, I can then sort of start bringing the fingers out. Uh, and I do this by using this little, little needle tool. Uh, I find this one really helpful. Um, and um, also using my fingers just to work the clay out a little bit more. The more you work with this clay, the softer it sort of gets. Um, but uh, it is a still a lot harder than Sculpey Original and um, you've probably heard me say before, I like working with softer clay anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, Super Sculpey is great for small little things like this. If I want the length to be a bit bigger or if I want the fingers to be a little longer or something like that or, or, or thicker, uh, I just add an extra little bit onto the tip of the fingers and making sure that I'm actually working it into the clay and um, actually combining it properly uh, so it doesn't fall off or anything and I'm just doing that with my little needle tool again um, just sort of smoothing it out and patting it down with my fingers as well uh, and trying to get the shape of the the bones and the knuckles that are inside the fingers um, as well so just uh, doing little shaping with my fingers um, I know it's a little bit difficult to get to um, but yeah you'll find a way to to do that so once I've done that, I just wanted to add a little bit of detailing and structure to the palms. So if you look at your own palms, gorilla hands are very, very similar. If you look at your palms, you can see that where your thumb is, that's a little bit more of a, a raised uh, area. So I just added a little bit of clay onto that and uh, inside the palm, I've made a little bit more uh, concave um, just to get that shape. And apologies, it's raining quite heavy if you can hear that, um, but I'll try and continue with my voiceover. Uh, so adding some little details in the knuckle areas. So again, if you look at your hands, you can see some little wrinkles uh, where your finger bends. Same deal with gorillas and other apes. Um, so I was just adding that into uh, the sculpture using my little needle tool and just bending the fingers into shape. So I wanted these particular fingers to um, be sort of semi-closed so you can pose the gorilla um, either in a standing position or a um, position where he's bent over and uh, kneeling on his, on his fingers. So I put it into a semi-closed um, position rather than a fully closed and that way you can get a couple of different posabilities with um, this figure as well. And just adding any little extra details like link, uh, uh, wrinkles and stuff like that using my needle tool as well and also um, adding the fingernail details. Now these fingernails, um, I'm using this little tool that's like a scoop. It looks like a scoop. Um, I'm looking at getting some sculpting tools, uh, some sculpting sets in my um, shop. Uh, I just have to 
Um, just have a look around and see what I can find. Um, but basically with this tool, you can get in a little bit closer here. You can see that I'm pressing inside and around the actual top of the finger and it creates a really realistic looking um, nail. Um, and I mean, if you want me to go into a little bit more detail about this, let me know in the comments and I could uh, do a little bit more detailed video on fingernails. But um, yeah, the, the reason is a round tool uh, really sort of creates that um, that that look of a round um, a round fingernail so definitely if you can find one of those tools um, definitely grab one because it's really helpful for fingernails moving on to the knuckles and um, just adding tiny little bits of clay to the knuckle area I'm doing them all at once and then I can uh, sort of um, smooth it out uh, at the same time so they all look uniform uh, and roughly the same size as well and it all looks uh, prop proper. <laughs> Uh, again, using that needle tool to smooth everything out um, and to make sure that everything's embedded in the in the clay itself as well. Um, and also keeping in mind that you want the details of the um, fingers as well. Apologies, it keeps going out of the screen as well. Uh, but yeah, it's always good to try and do everything at once. I like to do it all at once just so it does look uniform again. Uh, and then you can also smooth it out with your finger as well. You're not limited to tools or anything like that. Um, and also add and, subst and subtract some areas that you don't think works. Uh, so these hands will have a ball and socket armature embedded in it. And that way um, you can move the hands a bit more freely um, and it's less pressure than using um, wire armature as well. So I have a big restock coming of some armature pieces that will go in, in my shop. So half of the order will be for myself because my stock is running low. Um, but then the other half will be uh, for up in my shop. So I will have a couple of options of sizes and also I have ordered some um, tools so you can pull apart the actual um, segments. So you need the segments to pull apart the armature. And so I've ordered five pairs each of the sizes that I have um, but I can do a video on that if you're interested when the when it's everything's arrived and I've put it up in my shop so we can start making uh, the feet this time and it's pretty much the same concept as the hands the feet are a little bit different um, so always have some reference photos around when you're sculpting things um, and also have the photos at different angles because it really helps with um, the way things look and also um, how what shapes you do and what folds there are um, so yeah same concept adding that little thumb on um, obviously the feet are going to be a bit thicker and again a different shape so I've elongated the main body of the foot a little more but then uh, yeah same concept with um, cutting with the blade as well and just working it out a little bit more it's probably a little bit less work in the feet just because the toes aren't as long as the fingers so you could get away with not um, sort of pulling that clay out a little bit more so I'll probably just leave the rest of the video to run out because there's no point me explaining this again. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. Thanks to my Patreons for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. If you want a little more uh, tutorials and stuff like that, printables and um, uh, discount codes, you can support me on Patreon and the link will be in my description. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook at Creatures of Net and my shop at CreaturesofNet.com uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.